Ladies and gentlemen, friends infected by hepatitis B virus, breaking news for you. It's really a long-awaited, momentous pharmaceutical breakthrough in the treatment of chronic hepatitis B infection. Endpoint of treatment is now within your grasp, as concluded by several clinical tests and long-term clinical statistics. It means to say that you could now achieve zero clearance of HBSAG. More importantly, if you could achieve zero clearance of HBSAG, you could safely terminate antiviral treatment. Isn't it good news? Please appreciate that. HBSAG is the serum marker of CCC DNA, the replicative template of the virus located in the nucleus of the hepatocyte. If the HBSAG is positive, that means to say that the virus is still active in replication. That is, transcription of RNA and translation into various types of proteins in the cytoplasm. HBSAG comes in three different forms. Firstly, empty round shape or tube like HBSAG, which could be found in large numbers in the liver, in the bloodstream, and other organs like spleen. Secondly, truncated HBSAG resulted from the integration of the viral DNA into the DNA of the hepatocyte. Thirdly, it could be the envelope of the DNA particle. Please take note that for those having high titer of HBSAG, for example, more than 1,000 IU per ml, the probability of their development into HCC in the future is 13.7 folds higher than those having less than 1,000 IU per ml HBSAG. According to the conclusion of several studies, therefore, it is imperative to have the titers of the HBSAG be reduced as soon as possible. But how? The answer is the degradation of the CCC DNA, the holy grail of the treatment of hepatitis B. I declare war on hepatitis B virus in 1987. And after years of intensive studies and clinical practices, I'm now more than happy to announce that I've succeeded in defeating the virus. That means to say, I've succeeded in degrading CCC DNA, leading to the gradual reduction of the HBSAG level. You may note that in this regard, a peer review paper was published in 2017 by a journal in Chinese medicine. A second paper in English, also peer reviewed, has been accepted for publication, hopefully before the end of June 2020. Results of clinical tests and long-term clinical statistics demonstrate that traditional Chinese medicine could induce endogenous cytokines to degrade CCC DNA in the nucleus of the hepatocyte, which would lead to gradual reduction of HBSAG titer and its final zero clearance. We are cordially invited to study the articles in depth in order to fully appreciate the immunities involved in clearing the hepatitis B virus and also the factors that will influence the results of your treatment. If you have any question or would like to have more details, please do not hesitate to contact my office in Kuala Lumpur. Wish you all the best.